Hello YouTube, welcome back. It's Connor again. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I've got a selection for the 2000 Guineas, which is being run a week Saturday. The horse I like is St. Mark's Basilica for Aidan O'Brien. This horse went off favourite for a group one in his second start when he was still a maiden. Shows that the stable like him a lot and they think a lot of him. Um, didn't quite win that day, finished midfield. I think he was like a fourth or fifth place finish. Next time out, he went and won over six furlongs and doing well to win. You know, I don't think he's a six furlong horse, but his class got him through and he had enough speed to win over six furlongs. Following that up with a third in a group one behind uh, Fender Moon and Wembley, which will both, who will both reappear in 2000 guineas. Um, that Rennie showed a lot of signs of inexperience and greenness, wandering all over the place in the running. And he did well to finish third, to be honest. Um, he improved after that run, both ment mentally and physically. You know, he won the Dewhurst in good style, didn't show many signs of greenness, handled the dip at Newmarket well, which is a big positive going into the Guineas. Um, improved with every run last season, and there's potential improvement to come going into the Guineas. Um, a lot, a few runs of in group wins and the run at Newmarket will stand him in good stead too. The form of his Dewhurst win is the strongest on offer going into the 2000 guineas. It often is the strongest two year old race. So a few of them haven't uh, run since, a few of them have ran okay, but there's, there's a few standout bits of form from the horses in behind with Devil Waller finishing fourth in the Craven, Cadillac finish, finishing fourth at the Breeders' Cup. Chin Dip winning the Greenham, Poetic, Poetic Flair winning a Grade 3 and then following up with a listed win in the 2000 Guineas Trial a couple of days back. And Tactical also winning a couple of days back a listed race at Newmarket. That gives us the form behind St. Max Basilica a strong look from the Dewhurst. Um, also going back to that run where I said he was green in the Vincent O'Brien stakes, the fourth who finished one place behind St. Mark's Basilica that day. Um, Master of the Seas, he went and won the Craven in good style a couple of days back. Um, I did like the fact that you were able to see the progression from St. Mark's Basilica and the, the fact that he was able to reverse form with Fender Moon and Wembley from that prior run to the, prior run to the Dewhurst. Um, I do think that this horse has been too big of a price um, all winter after winning the Dewhurst. You know, he's available at around 12 to win for a good few months. He's sort of around the price I think he should be now. He's 6 to win. Me, myself, I'd have him uh, probably a point or two shorter than that. You know, he was impressive in the Dewhurst. But there's a good good few factors um, which make me think that he should be shorter than he currently is. So he's the top rated on official ratings, top rated by time form, top rated on RPRs, champion two-year-old cult in Europe. Um, his half-brother won the 2000 Guineas a few seasons back for the same connections. He, St. Max Basilica, is already rated higher than his half-brother was prior to winning the 2000 Guineas. And Magna Grecia was able to improve from a two-year-old to a three-year-old and able to take the 2000 guineas and we're hoping that St. Max Basilica will see the same improvement. I do think there is improvement to come. Definitely mentally, you know, his second to last start, he was still showing um, a lot of signs of greenness. Managed to put it all together in the Dewhurst. There could be improvement from the step up to a mile. You know, the Dewhurst is over seven, this is a mile, but I think this horse possesses the blend of speed and stamina needed to win the 2000 guineas. And the experience he was able to build up last season and significantly the run at Newmarket, being able to handle the dip, was stand him in extremely good stead going into this 2000 guineas. He's already finished ahead of a few of his market rivals, notably Fender Moon and Wembley. And I see no reason why those horses should re-reverse that form. Like, I do get the case for um, Wembley might look more of a miler than a seven furlong horse but he tends to get too far back in his races and he's got a lot of twos on his form um thunder moon he had the chance to go and win 
um, versus St. Mark's Basilica in the Dewhurst. He was travelling well. And perhaps St. Mark's Basilica, like the ground, um, which was on the soft side, more than Fender Moon. But I think Fender Moon could be stretched by the mile, to be honest, in the guineas. And I go on to the two Godolphin horses, you know, Master of the Seas, impressive in the Craven. Did finish behind all three of uh, Fender Moon Wembley and St. Max Basilica in that run in the Vincent O'Brien Stakes. And then you've got the current favourite, Wen Ruler, um, who's also been impressive. But I don't think the St. Max Basilica should be a 6 to 1 shot. I think he should be clear favourite. Looks to have that bit of star quality and. I think there is improvement to come and we'll see the best of this horse in the 2000 guineas. I think he looks a proper miler. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I'm going to be putting him up as a two-point each-way selection. I can't see this horse finishing out with the first three, to be honest. Um, I'd be extremely disappointed if he did. Um, if you have enjoyed, um, please drop me a like, perhaps subscribe. In the next couple of days, I'm going to be putting up a 50 to 1 tip for next year's Grand National. And perhaps just a couple of selections for Punchestown uh, next week. Um, yeah, that's everything. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.